In the heart of Central America, Costa Rica emerges as a jewel of biodiversity. This land whispers the ancient tales of the earth where lush rainforests, vibrant wildlife and serene beaches converge in harmony. Okay, that's enough with AI and ChatGPT. Let's start our journey. Now today we are searching for one of the almost extinct or at least threatened to extinct um, poison frog species, not a poison dart frog species, but it's from the member of the genus Oophaga, a species called Oophaga granulifera, and it's one of the most incredible uh, dendrobatids I've ever seen, or hopefully will be going to see in this amazing private reserve here. Um, we will check the area a little bit. In case we don't find any frogs on the leaf litter, we will ask the owner, I think he knows pretty much where they live, so wish us luck and we will just continue with our hike through this amazing little forest reserve. After just a few minutes of searching, we were lucky enough to find dozens of Oophago granulifera in this very area near this little river stream. It's very interesting to see that this Oophaga granulifera species is probably the most primitive representative of the whole genus Oophaga. Now Oophaga means that this species or the whole species complex within the genus are actually feeding on their own eggs. So that's how they raise their tadpoles and that's why the name Oophaga is yeah, pretty much the best name for the whole genus. And they're not only present in Central America, but they also have amazing species present in Southern America, especially Colombia and Ecuador. And this Oophaga granulifera is more closely related to these Southern species than to the ones present in Costa Rica itself. So that's quite fascinating. We were super happy to see this very rare poison frog in the wild. And you're probably going to see way more frogs on this whole channel. But now, We'll continue to the coast, away from this rainforest area, more into a drier, arid region within Costa Rica, in search of the Costa Rican zebra tarantula. So let us go on a quest to find the Costa Rica zebra tarantula Avnopelma semani. Here it is, but wait, that was way too easy. So let's go back a little and check out where they actually live. Now. Avonopelma semani is living its best life in deep tunnels on the ground, reaching lengths well over 25 inches deep into the ground. This is way over 60 centimeters and it's quite impossible to bring the specimen out if they are not hungry. And that's what you're going to see right now. We're trying to tickle the specimen out of its burrow with a little stick that's a bit bigger than usual because you try to get them into biting the stick and maybe you can yeah, bring them out that way but as you see in the video that really did not work out. What you're also able to see if you look very closely are these small little tarsal claws on the very edge of their foot and they are able to retract them and just get a bit of foothold within their burrow or on the stick they're trying to grab. So these are quite nice images of the Ovenopelma semani in its natural habitat within Costa Rica. That's why we wanted to film them in their natural living space and get some insights on how to keep best for them in captivity and to learn more about what kind of environment they thrive in, so it can be used in conservation efforts within the country itself. Avonopelma semani inhabits the coastal area of wide parts within Costa Rica, Nicaragua and Honduras. Usually if you find one, you'll find many as they live in colonies often near each other. Probably the most common species to see while you are in Costa Rica, so quite lucky that it's that remarkable looking. True captive breedings of this species are very rare, since Honduras and Nicaragua are still legally exporting wild-caught or farm-raised animal which is basically the same as wild caught, I, I urge you to avoid buying any adult or subadult specimens of Avonopelma. They will be 99% wild caught. If you get little spiderlings or juveniles, ask for their origin and if captive bred, pay good money to support the breeders. 
but the ban of exports to species will be gone within years as with the Chilean rosehair tarantula, so I really cannot recommend this as beginner species at all. So instead of presenting you some well-known facts about Ovonopelma semani, which you can basically read on every well-researched website, I'd like to use this chance to talk about this whole YouTube project in general. It has been an amazing project in the few past years to document our tarantula travels and endeavors in keeping them in captivity. Thank you all for the support. Like the project skyrocketed like I would have never believed from zero to 20,000 people within two years. Like that's unbelievable. There are no words for it. So thank you so much. If you'd like to see this YouTube project continue, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like me personally, I can't wait to show you more about the way we keep our captive tarantulas, show breeding successes, and also go way more behind the scenes with our approach to tarantula science in the future. It's been a year where we've uploaded our latest wild tarantula video here on YouTube. And in the meanwhile, we have traveled to Costa Rica, Thailand, and Peru again, solely in the search of tarantulas. But not in the search of documenting tarantulas on video for YouTube, but more in a way for research, especially our research endeavors in Peru. Meaning that it's most of the time a little bit of conflict because you only have a limited of time and you're not able to document specimens on video and everything, make great videos and also collect science data to then yeah, use it in your scientific articles. So. There will be some shift on this channel. We'll give you all the information we have, of course. But yeah, there might be a little change. So let me know in the comment section and let me know how you'd like to see this channel in the next five years. That would be great to hear. That was it from today's episode. Make sure you leave a comment down below maybe you liked the video will be helping us out a lot and uh, just yeah I don't know maybe watch the next one don't watch the next one <laughs> whatever you prefer and uh, enjoy the rest of your day